You know, I always considered you the attractive type. In many different ways. Emotionally, mentally, physically. I was always drawn to you. But as you can see, I wouldn't really say anything. I felt like I would scare you away, you know? And I wouldn't want to do that. <sighs> oh, you're not scared of me? Well, that's good. I wouldn't want you to be. In fact, I merely wanted to talk. To you. Get to know you better. You know. Well then, I'll start. My name is Lumira. What's yours? Mm, well, nice to meet you. Oh, you might be wondering what I am. I am what you would call a fallen angel. Or, in better terms, a dark angel. And I can tell that you are a human. <laughs> oh, no worries. There is nothing wrong with being a human being. I feel like being a mortal has its perks. For example, you all don't have to live forever. You may think that's a blessing, but honestly, it's not. Well, you see, I've fallen in love many times with many other people and every single time I do, I always see them die. They wither away into the earth, and I never see them again. <laughs> huh? Oh no, I'm not in love with you. I'm merely interested in you. You caught my eye, that's all. The falling in love part, we will see if that happens. In all honesty, I don't want to, but I cannot change what my heart wants, you know? You and I, we may be very different, but our feelings act the same way. When your heart grasps onto something and you want to tell yourself over and over again that it's not true, but in the end, you will succumb to your heart's desires. For example, you realizing that you're falling in love with someone. You see them, your heart starts to pound, you begin to sweat. Your words begin to stutter. Initially, you brush it away like it's nothing, but over time it eats at you more and more. And then you realize that you love them. You don't want to accept the truth, but the truth begins to devour you and control you. <laughs> the same process for me. Every single time I fall in love with a mortal, I tell myself that it's not true, but then I tell myself it is true, and I accept it. Hmm. Every single time I know the outcome, but still I pursue it, even though it's only for a short period amount of time to feel loved and accepted. It's quite an amazing feeling, isn't it? I must say, the sounds that I hear in this city, it's so relaxing. It's probably because I'm used to it. You know, I've seen it develop. It used to be barren land, and over time, it developed into this empire. Amazing. <laughs> That's one perk of being immortal. You see the changes happening around you. The land not only develops, but the people too. I recall this land. You all looked very different. Wearing different clothing using more simplified versions of the technologies you have today. 
Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> you look quite shocked. My, my, you look adorable. <sighs> it is nice to have someone to talk to. Hopefully, you feel the same way towards me. I must say, I've been watching you, not in a stalkerish kind of way, but I've been keeping tabs on you. And you live a very interesting life. Oh no, I don't mean that in a negative light. I think you're quite interesting. You are extremely different to those I've talked to in the past. You seem very interested in what I have to say. Usually people get very scared, thinking I'm the Grim Reaper of some sort. Just know that he doesn't exist. I haven't seen one in my many years of existence. Even if he is real, I don't recall him having big black wings. Or just looking like me. This is why I shouldn't visit those who are on the verge of death. They get so scared and they end up having a heart attack. Or something in that nature. I've actually had that happen three times. An awful experience. I never meant to harm them and I ended up killing them. <sighs> I do feel a little bad. Just a little though. Oh, you think my wings are nice? Well, thank you. I do make sure to take care of them. Having dirty wings is not only disgusting, but it's also hazardous. If I get an infection, oh goodness, that just sounds awful. I may be an immortal, but I'm not immune to the world's germs. Oh, disgusting. I've seen a few dark angels who refuse to take care of themselves. <sighs> well, it won't be my fault when they can't fly anymore. Flying is a privilege, not a right. If you do not take care of your wings, then your wings won't take care of you. That's how I see it. Hmm. <sighs> you know, your home is very spacious and very... How would I say? Comfortable. You have a nice view of the city and just big enough for one mortal. And perhaps one immortal. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I'm not actually going to move in here. Unless you really want me to. Well, technically I'm homeless. I don't have anywhere to go, but I'm not complaining. I'm fine the way I am. Besides, I feel very free. Like nothing holds me back. One thing that I can benefit from is I don't have to attend to your laws. No working jobs, no paying taxes. None of that. I can do whatever I wish and live my life the way I want to. But it does get very lonely sometimes. <sighs> A small setback for my immortal life. But hey, I'm talking to you right now, aren't I? <laughs> you are a very good listener. <laughs> A great trait to have. Well, just... Being able to listen to someone else and hear where they're coming from, you can really understand someone. Like, for example, you and me. You definitely wouldn't understand me. An immortal talking to a mortal. Yeah, that would be confusing enough for anyone. And, in fact, you didn't jump to conclusions when you saw me. 
You were kind and you were willing to listen to my words. Hmm. Maybe, just maybe, Lamira. We'll see. Hmm. Oh, nothing. Don't you worry about it. You know, I wish I could stay forever and just talk to you. But I know that we can't. Well, technically I can, but you... Don't you have stuff to do? <laughs> I know. Working is such a pain, isn't it? But it must be done in your society. For me, I don't have to do anything. Hmm. <laughs> An amazing feeling. I do get bored easily, but you could always play pranks on people. That's always fun. I usually pick on those who pick on others. One time, this little jockey from high school thought he was a king of some sort. Anyone he deemed unworthy, he would treat like absolute garbage and sometimes even throw them into the garbage. So I decided to take things into my own hands. I revealed his darkest secrets to the whole school. He still wears diapers. <laughs> he hasn't bullied anyone since. I would consider it my own type of shock therapy. Yes, I was very aggressive. But sometimes you need a punch a little harder so they get the message. I basically told him to treat people the way he wanted to be treated. Besides, no human being is better than anyone else. Me? Well, I can fly, so I'm better when it comes down to transportation. But other than that, I am no different from you all. We have the same mind, we have the same spirit, we have the same emotions. Even when we're so different, we're still the same, and we should be treated as such. But we have one thing in common. We are both very attractive. Wouldn't you say so? <laughs> Aww, <laughs> I appreciate it. Your words make me smile. <laughs> You've been very kind to me despite me barging in without saying anything. I merely just said, Hey there, I find you attractive mentally, physically, all that hubba jubba. You know, I said all that so I could get your attention and, you know, initiate that I wasn't going to do anything harsh. And you took it well. Thanks for that. <laughs> you know, I don't find a lot of people like you. You're very unique in your own way, and I mean that in a good way. You're very accepting, despite us being so different. You see through it all, and you see the similarities, and that's what you care about, don't you? <clears throat> well, it seems like we have to end our conversation for today. You have many things to attend to, don't you? And don't worry. If you want me to, I'll always come back. Well, I have all the time in the world. Almost literally. <laughs> well, it was very nice talking to you. And I really do mean that. <laughs> Farewell now. I'll definitely see you later. <laughs>